you know, for our sport, uh, food is important, nutrition is important. Uh, when the body starts to run out of fuel, or when the body starts to become dehydrated, those are the quickest ways to, to, um, to hurt performance, whether it's training or racing. And immediately performance is cut, which, you know, for training, if you're out there alone and you're riding five hours and you start to suffer a little bit at the end and you're by yourself, it doesn't really matter. Uh, but I guess if you, if you look at it another way, you could say uh, maybe it does matter because if I had uh, hydrated properly and, and, and eaten properly, my training at, on that particular day would have been at a level that is 10% higher. So the adaptation at that level is, is different. And so we really try to focus on, obviously focus on that stuff for races, but um, for training it's, it's important too. I'm a little bit fortunate because I always have a car with me and I always have food and bottles and clothing and all the things that I need to stay uh, you know, at a high level or, or topped off in training. Uh, but you know, on hot days especially, the quickest way to kill a performance. We're in an interesting sport that's demanding, that requires uh, long hours on the bike, four, five, six hours on the bike. So the, the, your instinct is to get off the bike and have a feast because you're starving and you feel like you've, you've earned it. Um, the most important thing uh, is, is this relationship between power and weight. So the power that the athlete has and the weight of the athlete plus the weight of the bike and all the rest of the equipment. And on that side of it, we, all of that has to be as light as possible. So obviously the bike has to be at the, the legal limit. Uh, and then the athlete has to be as light and as lean as, as he, he or she can be. It, it, it's tough. I mean, a lot of times you just you just have to go without meals. I mean, literally, every pound. And I mean, you can look at it, and, and there's been studies done that if you look at one or two pounds of extra body weight, if it's a body muscle or if it's body fat, uh, the impact that has on a 10-kilometer climb is a minute. I think it's. I think the actual number is. One kilo of extra body weight on a 10 kilometer climb is a minute. So you can start to say, okay, well, I'm three kilos heavier. A 10 kilometer climb is not that long. It starts to become minutes. So it's really important to be as light as possible, which sometimes isn't fun. That means you step back, push yourself back from the table, and you go to bed hungry sometimes.